a six hour bus ride. As human beings, we seek meaning in everything. We're so good at discovering patterns that we see them where they don't even exist. In life, you will take many journeys. Not every journey will be easy, but I believe something amazing can come out of anything you do, whether that's a long practice in the rain, an all academic day, or a six hour bus ride. On June 19th, one of my best journeys began at 4.30 in the morning. My day started at this lovely hour because I had to drive to the Atlanta airport to then fly to Sacramento by myself. I had to then take a bus ride to the northern mountains of Etna, California. Yes, this says four and a half hours, but take my word for it, it was six. You might be wondering what in the world I was doing there. Well, in Etna is a special place called JH Ranch. This is a beautiful ranch where teenagers like me can start one of their best journeys yet. After only an hour of passing through weird cities and seeing some very questionable bumper stickers, I became so incredibly bored. I was hungry, uncomfortable, and I couldn't fix the air vent above me that was blowing sometimes hot but sometimes cold air. All I could think about was getting off the bus. But soon later, I saw this outside of my window. I took a breath and realized, hey, this isn't so bad. I enjoyed the views I was getting to take in in a place I had never seen. But after a whopping four minutes, I became bored and still wanted to get off the bus. Once I arrived at the gates of JH Ranch, every negative feeling I had left and the longest six hours became so worth it. And over the next 12 days, my journey grew. I got to participate in many activities such as sports nights, ropes course challenges, and hiking. Halfway through, we went off campus to go to the Redwood Forest surfing on the Pacific Coast and jet boating. How did we get there? A bus, but I didn't let it bother me for a second. One of the best parts of my two weeks at JH Ranch were the relationships I made. I met many people from all across the country and the moments I share with these people are the ones I'll cherish forever. One of the main reasons I will forever love the journey I took last summer is Bobby Peterson. Bobby was the leader of my group, and he truly showed me the whole reason I took that six-hour bus ride. I gained so many things from JH Ranch, and at the end, he baptized me with my sister right by my side. Bobby was a man of faith and spoke so much wisdom into my life, and he helped me connect with the Lord on a whole nother level. That night at 12 a.m., it was time to get back on the bus to drive six hours back to the airport. As you can see, I was a little upset, but it's not because I was about to spend another lifetime on a bus. It's because I was leaving the place that I had some of the best two weeks of my life. But this was, the bus ride wasn't the end of my journey. Once I got home, I was able to share my experiences. I wanted to tell the whole world about the amazing journey I had. People often questioned the greatness of it when they realized how many nights I spent in a tent in the woods, but the thought of it would make me smile because I knew why I did it. My challenge to anyone hearing this is to think about these three things when going through an uncomfortable or hard journey. Why? Why are we doing the things we do? What's the goal and what can you gain? I'm a firm believer that no journey in life is supposed to be easy, but for reasons like this, that's what makes it worth it.